skiing and snowboarding on steeper slopes gives you quicker, more instant access to speed. Essentially, your superpower becomes amplified, and if you have the right techniques, you have access to more fun. However, as a general rule, the steeper the slope, the more dangerous it becomes. So you need to make sure you have the right skills in order to avoid accidents and injury. Now, steep skiing is a particular passion of mine, and this has extended far beyond the black runs in ski resorts. I've had the pleasure of exploring and skiing in some pretty stunning locations around the globe and learned from some of the very best steep skiers in the world today. So I've taken what I've learned from my voyages into the steeper realms and I've combined it with my findings of years of teaching skiers to progress from blue to red to black runs. So here are my top five tips for intermediate skiers as they progress onto steeper terrain in ski resorts. Tip number one is to stay balanced over your downhill ski. As intermediate skiers progress onto steeper slopes, your natural reaction is to lean away from the steep slope, which is intimidating. You might feel like you're closer to the ground here and therefore safer, but doing so puts your weight on the uphill ski and breaks golden rule number one, which we discussed earlier in the course. You'll then lose control of your best braking leg and have less control as a result. So make sure when you're on steep slopes that you're aiming to stay balanced over that downhill ski in order to maintain more control. Tip number two is to make sure that you are balancing over the middle of the skis. Yes, I am again referring back to our golden rule number two, but it is especially relevant as you start to tackle steeper slopes. Leaning back puts your weight over the tails of the skis and takes your control away when you need it most. Balancing in the middle gives you easy access to the entire edges of your skis, giving you better brakes for less effort. So make sure that you're still flexing those ankles and you have contact between the shins and the fronts of the boots. Make sure you also have a little bit of flex in the waist so your upper body is leaning forwards a little bit and keep those hands just out in front of you. Now this is where learners often object and I am aware that leaning forwards down the hill and being balanced over the middle of your skis is much easier said than done. So here's a little tip that will help you to achieve that. We're just gonna reach the pole plant forwards and down the hill. That's gonna bring our posture into the middle of the skis and over the downhill ski, and we will therefore have better control on steeper slopes. Tip number three is to make round turn shapes. Think about going from 12 to six around the clock face and not cutting the corners. On steeper slopes, your tactical choices are just as important as your techniques. Performing rushed, jolted and jagged turn shapes will condense the forces coming at you into shorter, sharper bursts, making for a rougher and a more unpleasant ride as a result. Generally, rounder turns will make for a smoother ride since you can spread the frictional forces around the arc of a turn. So think about turning all the way from 12 to 6 around a clock face, rather than rushing the turns and overly relying on side skidding. Tip number four is to progress progressively. Now this one might seem like common sense, but 
Finding yourself on slopes which are too steep for you is an easy mistake to make. It's not uncommon that I teach a client, make lots of progress on their confidence, and then after the lesson, they will be guided by someone in their group down something which is too difficult for them. They either get hurt or come back the next day with lower confidence than when we started. So progress onto steeper slopes gradually from the greens to the blues to the reds to the black, not only as you're discovering them for the first time, but each day as well. So warm up on some easier slopes rather than just throwing yourself onto the hardest blacks during the first runs of the day. Now, tip number five is to control your speed. This doesn't necessarily mean skiing slowly. This means skiing with a consistent speed and not gradually speeding up and losing control as you go down the mountain. Make sure you finish off your turns and control your speed before you start the next turn. Think about this as slowing down to turn rather than turning to slow down. For some reason, a lot of skiers seem to panic and rush into the next turn before they have finished the last turn. You then gradually get faster and faster as you go down the hill and sooner or later, you're going to lose control. So find a speed that you're comfortable with and try to maintain that speed as you descend rather than gradually speeding up throughout your run. Then a sixth little bonus tip is to get your mindset right before you start your run. Take a moment to assess your run, to breathe, and to work out what you're gonna focus on whilst you're skiing. I often have a couple of words or a short phrase which I repeat in my head again and again before and during my skiing. For example, on steeper slopes, I might say to myself, shins forward, reach the pole plant. Shins forward, reach the pole plant. Saying this again and again whilst you're skiing helps you to avoid distractions and implement whatever it is that you are working on. So bear these tips in mind as you progress from blues to reds to black runs. You'll be amazed at how much control and confidence skiing equipment can give you in steep terrain when you have the right tactics and the right techniques in place. As you build confidence, you'll be able to explore more of the mountains and have a lot more fun whilst doing it.